for the party and get the money for the last year this one. Seminar um, embassy. Sa 
prinsipyo po ng God na ang kaharasan at diskriminasyon laban sa babae ay ilan sa mga dahilan pumipigil sa pagkulad ng mga kababayan. Let us all welcome Dr. Maya Mansur and Attorney Joe Karam. Hi everyone, and thank you for the invitation. We're very happy to be today with you speaking on women's rights, women's rights in Lebanon, and uh, sexual and gender-based violence precisely. We are pleased and honored to be among this distinguished crowd. Thank you for the Philippine Embassy and the Ambassador, ambassador staff for inviting us. Uh, we are pleased to make a presentation on women's rights and to honor all that you do here in Lebanon because you are the mother, the educator, the helper. You are like our mothers and sisters. So welcome to Lebanon and thank you for all that you do. All of us who are in this room, we have a huge responsibility. This is why we say that the first enemy of the woman is a woman. <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Yes. We raise our kids to consider boys are more important than girls, right? Yes. We give them a better education. We give them priorities. We allow them to hit girls. And this is how violence starts. So this is why we as women, we have a very important role in putting limits to inequality and violence against women. So we ratified the CEDAW, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. We, we ratified as well the two international governments, the first one on political and civil rights, and the second one on economic, social, and cultural rights. Lebanon has ratified as well the Convention Against Torture, the Convention on the Rights of the Child, and the Ilo Convention on Equal Remuneration, and many, many, many other conventions and treaties to provide equal rights for women. And all these conventions, they cover migrant domestic workers as well. The labor law does not include anything about sexual harassment at work. However, the criminal code can, in a way or another, include some of the acts as a crime. Sex work and anti-prostitution laws, there is, prostitution is prohibited. However, when it comes to practice, we all know that prostitution exists in Lebanon. Uh, thank you, Maya, for your presentation and thank you for inviting us uh, to address this distinguished crowd. I would like to add something practical to what my colleague Dr. Maya just said. It's like an advice for uh, the honorable women who are living in Lebanon. Uh, so many times they face, because she was talking about personal status and marriages and divorce, uh, sometimes they get proposal here to get married, either by Christian or Muslim uh, distinguished uh, man of Lebanon or foreign man here. There are certain details that any foreign uh, woman, uh, that they are not aware of. I will give them a small advice related to what is existing in the Muslim community laws that is protecting better the rights of women, which is the option to divorce. Meaning that in any contract, if you are proposed to get married, before signing the contract before the shame, the authority that is allowed to make the, uh, the, the contract, you have the right and you are in a powerful position to say to your lover that I will marry you under one condition that you give me in the contract the option to divorce because the principle in, in Muslim law, those are the Sunni or Shia, is that the option to divorce is in the hand of the man. But the Sharia did give the right that the man can sign a contract where he give up this option to the woman so that it's called the Arabic al-Asma, right, Maya? Which is the, the 
option to divorce, and if your man loves you a lot, he will give you this right, so you will not be under his abusive way if ever you want to divorce in the, in the future. So you can add this special condition in the contract just in the beginning. And it is very valuable, especially for a foreign woman. So this is a small advice if you like. So I just wanted to add it, and it's very practical. So thank you. If there is a man who is abused by his wife in a violent way, he can address the court saying, I, uh, I am abused, there is a domestic violence against me. So if I go, I Paigtingin ang pagkakaisa at pagtutulungan ng ating mga kababayan, kabilang dito ang patuloy na pakikilamok sa mga gawain na kakapagpagutin ng imahe ng Pilipinas sa ibang bansa. So naniniwala po ang pasuduan na malaki ang may tutulong ninyo, mga Pilipino dito sa Lebanon, para sa pagpapataguyod at papaiging papa, papa ng relasyon ng Pilipinas at Lebanon. So, ano po yung mga kinakailangan para makasagparehistro? So, kailangan nyo po ng liham para si Ambassador na nagpapasuwanig na kagustuhan nyo magparehistro, pangalawa misyon at misyon ng samahan, konstitusyon at bylaws ng samahan, listahan ng mga opisyal at membro ng samahan, kasama dito yung mga mobile numbers at email address po, listahan ng pag lalarawan ng mga proyekto para sa mga susunod na taon at kopya ng pasaporte at valid na ikama ng leader bilang opisyal na pinatawar ng sinamahan. Uh, Doon po sa link, nag-send din po kami ng template para po sa mga listahan. So, pwede nyo na-list po yung sundan. Ibig sabihin po ng Tepologyo, first thing, ay maging pangunong tayo ang panginong ang lahat. Mapag-refer sa naaayong institusyon mga individual o opisina na maaaring tumulong kung kaya tandaan lamang ang free ads at smooth lesser ending. Yun po yung main purpose ng PSA sa Ecological Christine. At ito sa lahat, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalawa ng ating Women's Month. Sabay-sabay natin isigaw ang hashtag na pinag-tilo natin ito. Kapag sasabihin ko ang tema, wala po dito na. Pakita. Kapag sasabihin ko po ang tema nito, dito nga yung po ng hashtag. So ang e po, B for gender equality and inclusive society, the hashtag, we can all be equal. We can be equal. Bye! We'll